Hey friends, today I am at Epcot to enjoy some more Festival of the Arts. Last time we were here, we didn't get to all the boots that we wanted to and I wasn't able to show you as much art either. So, I decided to come back out today, eat some food and drink some drinks that we didn't try the first day and show some of the cool boots and all the different interactive photo opportunities. So, let's go do this. It is so windy today, but that's okay because I love windy days at Epcot. It kind of makes me feel like I'm riding Soren throughout the whole entire time. Only because you can hear the music and the wind is in your face, just like Soren. One thing I'm very excited to show you is all the progress on the paint by number mural. We actually did it the first day and it has come so far. It is absolutely beautiful. And I can't believe I get to say that I painted five little squares on that. Look at that. Yep, I painted five squares right there on the number three spot. It's definitely coming along amazingly though, isn't it? I highly suggest if you come to the Festival of the Arts, come to the right hand side first. You have so much more things, including that paint by number mural, and then all the different figment wings, and even the cool classic retro Epcot paintings that they have around the corner. I'm gonna show you some of those because last time we didn't actually see them. When we came for opening day, we just went straight into World Showcase, but we didn't actually come around this bin itself. Hello. Oh, hey friends. <laughs> that was really cool. I ran into Jim, Kim, and Dylan, and they wanted to say hi, but now I want to show you those cool retro Epcot pictures. We got Journey into Imagination, World of Motion, The Living Seas, which is actually their anniversary today. I love this Universe of Energy one right here. I have no idea why, I just really love this. And then Horizons, the land, and of course, Spaceship Earth. And it's even got the pylons. Fancy, huh? There are so many amazing photo opportunities on the main stretch that actually leads into World Showcase. Because of the construction, people are actually sticking to the right or the left as they walk in, and they're not coming to the center. But there are so many things that people might be missing out on, including myself. I missed out on all of this when I first came here. We have the butterfly wings on all the walls right here. And then right behind me is this amazing Epcot, like, photo spot with figment look at this oh yeah i love it oh this is really nifty isn't it there's not that many photo pass photographers out so it's hard to actually get a photo when you're by yourself and i feel so bad because i want to take all these photos this is like amazing i love it I can show you some of the really cool chalk full of character art look at this this is chalk Every year, I get so excited to see this. Oh, look at, from Coco. Other than Festival of the Arts, there are some new developments happening with the Harmonious Barges. Two of them are now out in the middle of the World Showcase Lagoon. We did have one, and I'm thinking all of them are actually gonna make their way out here, one by one. That's gonna be really interesting, isn't it? Look at this, isn't it exciting? I mean, these barges are massive. The lights are on this one now. Yesterday, I seen them practicing like their crane or their arms. So this is gonna be an amazing show. They've already said it's gonna be the biggest, best nighttime show Disney's ever produced. It kind of makes me a little sad that I didn't give Epcot Forever a final farewell. It's not coming back. I think Harmonious will be the new nighttime show like it, it planned to be. So I never got to say a proper goodbye like I did to Illuminations. Even though Epcot Forever was temporary, I still really enjoyed that show. So, RIP Epcot Forever, not forever. One of the cool things and experiences for the Festival of the Arts is the spin art. You can actually create your own art canvas with a bicycle. You sit on there and you spin around, they put the paint in there, and it's amazing, isn't it? That seems like a real lot of fun, and then they actually dry it for you, and it's actually very affordable. It's $19 for just the canvas itself, and then it's $25 for the canvas and the frame. I like this. Maybe one day I'll come back and do this because this seems like fun. Look at all those wonderful designs. People have made these. These are the ones from today, it looks like. 
now I'm going to start looking at some of the different food and beverage offerings that I wasn't able to try in the opening day. I had one drink in particular that I really wanted to try, but since we started on the other side, by the time we got over here, the park already closed, so I wasn't able to. So that's probably first on the list. Right here in the Mexico Pavilion, they have the Frida Carrot Margarita. That just sounds amazing. And I seen it and I was like, I gotta try it. So that's what we're going for, number one. Oh wow, look at that carrot goodness. Oh my lord. What is that? It is a lemongrass bubble. What do I do with it? Well, I mean, once it pops, try to get a whiff. It smells really refreshing and it should go well with your carrot margarita. Oh no, I'm so afraid to touch it. Okay, I got this. Oh, thank you. Guys, look at this. Oh boy, it's gonna pop. Oh no! <laughs> I wasn't able to get a picture of it, but it was so beautiful, wasn't it? And I didn't get to smell it either. Oh, but it does it does smell good. But I wanted to get the lemongrass. Aww. <laughs> Oh wow, that's good. Oh, wow, that is such a great, great margarita. Holy moly. This is so delicious. This might be better than the pumpkin spice one they had for the actual uh, festival of the holidays. I love it. Wow. And it's so funny because they had pumpkin margarita and now a carrot one. Very fancy. I like the color orange. This drink is good, but I'm definitely gonna need to get something to eat after this one. I just, I don't know, maybe a good mixture of drink food, drink food, drink food snack. That sounds better. Drink food snack, I like it. I can tell you right now, that is one of the strongest drinks I've ever had at Epcot. I know that sounds crazy, but I really, that, that was really good. Very, very shocked with this one. I have the perfect spot to actually grab something to eat. I've seen pictures of this food item and I was like, that seems like something right up my alley. So the Painted Panda is where we're going to get ourselves pork and water chestnut meatballs. Yes, oh, wow. Yes, sir, please. Very fancy. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I feel like that is the prettiest meatball I've ever seen. I mean, it's hard to make a meatball pretty, but that's pretty, you have to admit. You have to admit. I also grabbed two forks. So you're gonna watch me struggle trying to cut this maybe. Oh, no you're not, because this is gonna be, oh wow. Oh, this is, this is, this is gonna be good. Cheers to meatballs in China. Amazing, absolutely amazing. That's all I can say. This is so good. Oh wow, I am, I'm obsessed now. This actually might be a front runner for my favorite food of Festival of the Arts. The short rib in Germany is definitely number one still, but I'm gonna let this sit for a little bit. I'm gonna have to take it all in before I make what, that big decision. You know, you know. <laughs> Now I'm coming over to the refreshment outpost to get a beer that actually caught my attention. This ain't no Bud Light. This is much more. A lot of the places that are here year-round do offer something for Festival of the Arts or any of the festivals. This being like the refreshment outpost and all the other refreshment outposts. Even the Joffrey stand has a special drink for the Festival of the Arts and a Valentine's Day drink. Look at this. Holy moly. <laughs> Can't go this way. There's a rope there. <laughs> I have very high expectations for this blue raspberry beer. I hope it is as delicious as it looks. It's good. It's unique. It's good. I like it. This beer really catches you off guard on the first sip. But after a little bit, it does start to taste really, really good. I do enjoy it, but it's definitely not a beer I would binge or drink multiple. I, I, I think this is like a one, and then maybe every other festival if it returns. Like, I'll be like, I gotta try the blue beer. I gotta get the blue beer. I'll make it like a, like a tradition, you know? 
a lot of the cool Festival of the Arts photo opportunities returned from the previous years. This one in Italy is one of my favorites and it's really good with two people but I'm by myself and I don't have any photo pass photographers around to take a photo for me so I'm just going to show you guys but it is a lot of fun. This is the photo opportunity that I was talking about. You actually stand inside here and you pose with the different pictures and they give you like a how-to like the Mona Lisa is on this side and then <laughs> the scream or now scream oh you have to actually scream is right here very nifty right we're coming up on the voices of liberty this was such a great show what can i say except you're welcome hey it's okay it's okay you're welcome i'm just an ordinary demigod you're welcome you're welcome this show is so amazing now they're singing moana again The sun is coming down pretty quick here in Epcot. Wow, I feel like I just got here and now it's already getting dark out. Crazy. I really want to get a dessert and I came into the France Pavilion and they have this croissant that looks phenomenal. Right, there it is. But I'm also interested in the house-made macaroons. I don't know, this is gonna be a tough decision. I think I should just get the croissant. I mean, that looks really fancy, doesn't it? Oh no, maybe I won't be getting the croissant. This is a extremely long line. Holy moly. Guys, I'm sorry. I don't think I'm getting the croissant today. You actually go in here and then you do a big circle, but that's not even the beginning. That's not even where we actually get in line. Holy macaroon. They definitely want those macaroons. For real, I think I'm gonna have to pass at the moment. I mean, that's probably like a 35 minute wait. Just to get some macaroons and a croissant? Now, I haven't seen long lines all day. It was just at that moment that the France Art Pavilion is just literally loaded with people that wanna get macaroons and croissants. So, I mean, we'll just come back another time. You don't have to wait then. I would be super upset if I waited in that long line and then I got the croissant and then somebody scared me and I ended up dropping my croissant. I'm going to show you guys some of the art actual boots. Now, in the past, I've talked about how some of the artists actually put up signs that says, please don't film, no filming or photography. So I always ask permission and I always throw that disclaimer out there. Just in case you guys ever come here, you just got to be respectful of what they have going on there. So I'll ask and if they let me film, I'll show you guys because some of these are really, really nice. One of the pieces of art that I've actually really liked is this one right here. It's for the 50th anniversary and there's 50 different characters inside this painting and not including Tinkerbell. Look at this. I like the frame. This is beautiful, isn't it? That painting was absolutely amazing. I love finding all the different characters in it, but they even have some very rare characters in there. Also within the same booth here, and I think it's the same artist, they have an amazing picture of one of my favorite characters, the Rocketeer, look at that. You know, he's actually in Hollywood Studios and all of these pictures are amazing. I love the frames. That's the same frame on the outside, that castle right there. These are beautiful. Another really cool one is that figment one over there and it's got the Imagination Pavilion on top and then Mickey with all the different Magic Kingdom attractions. This one's awesome because he's eating a Dole Whip. Then you got Astral Orbiter right there. And then over here, Mickey and Pluto on Space Mountain. These are really, really nice. Now I think I need to get some dessert since I wasn't able to get the croissant. But one of my festival favorites of every single Festival of the Arts has always been the Frangipan cake at Pop Eats. I don't know why a lot of people don't like it. I love it. So I get it every time I'm here and I didn't get it on opening day. So I said today I'm definitely getting it. 
they also have a lot of really cool items like the grilled cheese and tomato soup but I am all about that almond frangipan cake as I'm waiting in line I can feel the winds from the east mist coming in and I think we're gonna get some rain there is now officially nobody waiting to get anything from the pop eat stand and the line for people who have already bought stuff is now forming and I think people are actually getting in line thinking that that's the line to order I feel like I should yell and let them know next like just come right up to the front here it is this is my festival favorite I love this cake I was actually coming up here because I thought that those were actual like tables you can eat at but they have them roped off so I'm balancing my cake like on this I hope the wind doesn't push it away but we're gonna try to eat this that was not going to happen. I tried to cut it and it did not work. So I had to come back down over here. I did find a table. So that's better than a little tiny post. Now, oh no, I almost dropped it. I'm excited to try this. It's stuck on my, my knife. But look at how beautiful that is. That is art. Oh wow, I love it. I've always loved this cake. It's so hard and dense. And I love the raspberry jam that's in between too good much too good one thing i definitely suggest is make sure you have a drink when you're having that cake it makes you so thirsty like a glass of milk would be perfect i don't think i have any milk but either that i don't want to wash anything down with a beer so i'm just gonna wait and maybe grab a water <laughs> i actually have something i know that will wash down that cake very well and that is a liquid deconstructed breakfast drink so they have chai tea shake with maple syrup garnished with the waffle crisp and Canadian bacon. Wow, they also have an alcoholic version that comes with cream bourbon. This is gonna be good. I cannot wait to try this. The deconstructed dish booth does like a fun spin on different foods and drinks. Like obviously we're gonna have a liquid breakfast but they also have deconstructed Rubens and BLTs and even cheesecakes. And they're always a festival favorite but I've never had the liquid breakfast. Here it is. I am so excited to try this. So obviously it's the chai tea shake and then the waffle crisp right in the middle. The Canadian bacon actually sunk down inside there and then the maple syrup and then the bourbons mixed in there as well. They didn't have a straw so I grabbed a spoon. I don't know if that's gonna work but we'll try either spooning it or sipping it. I think I'm gonna try sipping on it first here. Wow, that is so delicious. I didn't get any Canadian bacon yet though. So that's gonna be tough. I'm gonna try to get I'm gonna try to get a little bit of Canadian bacon in here. No, nothing yet. I guess I gotta keep drinking. Or maybe I should just grab the spoon. I'm just gonna grab the spoon. Yeah, we're gonna get in there. Come on now. There we go. There's some of the bacon. Guess we're gonna eat this like a frosty, huh? Oh my lord, that's too good. Wow. That's amazing. I definitely suggest using the actual spoon. This is so good. Oh my lord. I really feel like a lot of people are probably going to be like, no, Nate, that was disgusting. But I absolutely love that actual breakfast. It was so delicious. Uh oh. Really fogging up here. Huh. The rain's coming. <laughs> Storm's coming in, guys. We gotta move post haste. Post haste. We made it under Spaceship Earth. We're out of the rain for a little bit. Enough for me to say adios or goodbye or to say thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.